All right. Well, now that we've learned a little bit about formulas and a little bit about using JAWS to enter data and, you know, some of the other more advanced features that you can learn with the help of somebody who uses Excel on a more regular basis, I'm going to show you just a little bit about sorting. And what I have done is, is I've, re I've uh, loaded a table that is uh, the state rankings by, uh, I believe it's, I can't even remember what, what the original table was ranking by. I believe it's um, land area. I can't remember for sure. But they have the all this, this uh, done up for us, this table. But what, that's what I really wanted to show you is how to do a, do a table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you first when we're going to go through the columns and what each column has in it. The first column is... Rank A1. Is the rank... Um, Second, city B1 is a city. SDC1. The the third is its state. Actually, it's supposed to be state. Land area square BD1. Okay. Land area by square miles, and the next one is going to be land area by square kilometers. Land area kilometer superscript water area square BD1. Okay. BF1. This is the um, the lot the water area by square miles, and of course the next one will be water area by square kilometers. Water area kilometer superscript 2G1. Okay, that's that's G. So eight in H will be uh, the total. Total area square B H one. In miles. And total area kilometer superscript two I one. Okay, square kilometers. It total area and the final one is is uh, column J. Population twenty ten. Population it, uh, as of two thousand and ten. So not the most current. Not really too worried about it for our purposes. So that kind of lets you know. Since I'm focused in the in the population column, I'm going to show you how to sort by population first. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you two ways to do this. The first way is if I know right away that I want to sort that where I'm focused and where I want it, what I want to sort. Um, I I know where I'm at. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do an Alt A to get to the data ribbon, which will allow you to to uh, manipulate the data. Ribbon tax tax okay, so control. Data tab selected okay. Alt A. I'm going to do a SA for sort ascending. Sheet two table. And it doesn't Population really say center. much other than that, but it, if you listen to how it is, I'm going to go down to cell um, J2. 208 J2. Well, wow, that's only 208. I don't know what city that is. 1670 J3. 2,545, so 2,676 so, J5. So we don't know what cities those are, but it would be easy to find out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up, either with a, a shift enter or an up arrow, it doesn't matter. 2,208 J2. Okay. Now this is J2, so I know that I want to know um, what state that is, and I know, or what city that is, and I, I know I can find out by, by doing one of two things. I can either right or left arrow all the way over to column B in that row and have it read that way, or I can do a go to command, which is control G. Microsoft Excel book one, sheet two table night mute link B2. Apparently that's a night mute, which is, uh... Alaska C2. Oh, I guess that makes sense, Alaska. So, so again, I can go for... 11.1, 200, 208 J2. Okay, so now I'm back in J. So, if I wanted to know the next one, I could do the same thing. So, now I've, I found out what the smallest one of this chart is, and suppose I want to know what the largest one is, and I'm going to show you how to sort the other way. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go again back to the data ribbon with an Alt A. And instead of S A for sort ascending, I'm going to do an S D for sort descending. Ribbon tab tab control. Edit. Oops. Lang. I, hit, I accidentally edited it. Lang. Sheet two. 8,175,133 J2. Okay, this is clearly the most populous city. And I'm just going to go down one just to make sure. 3,700,000. Yeah, buy a great deal, actually. Holy Okay, I don't know what city that is. So I'm going to actually go, again, I can do 
go to cell, which I can go, I'm going to do that. I'm going to actually do a control G. Go to dialog. B2. Enter. Microsoft Excel book one. Sheet two table New York City link B2. Yeah. Now suppose that yet another way I could do this is I, I am from Wisconsin and that's where I currently live. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to column C right now. I'm going to go at the very top of this column. Actually, I'm going to just go home. Rank A1, City B, SDC1. So this is a state. So suppose now I want to um, want to sort my uh, this column according to state. Because I live in Wisconsin, I know Wisconsin is going to be closer to the bottom. So um, what I'm going to do is this time, instead of doing that, I'm going to do an Alt A. Ribbon tab. And then tab instead of data tab selected Alt A. Now I'm going to do an SS for sort dialog box. Sort dialog. And it's going to give sort me this dialog, okay. dialog box that I need to navigate with a tab key. So I'm going to tab. Cancel button. Add level button. Delete level. Copy option. My data has head list. Cop sort field. Okay, sort. Data grid. Sort by data item row one column okay. population total area total area square. So I'm using my arrows now to to choose how I want to sort this. So I want to sort this by state. So I'm going to find ST here. Land area square ST. Okay. So there's state. Data item row one sort on column two. So how do I want Combo to sort box, it? Values cell color font color cell icon. Well, none of that's going to Value, data item, row one, order, and column Sort by value. Combo box Z to A. And it says Z to A. Z to A. But the Z. Z to A. Custom list. Or custom. I'm not going to worry about a custom Z to list. A, but That's the Z. Z to A. So I'm going to sort it Z to A. I'm going to hit enter. Enter again. Microsoft and now I'm, I'm already Z in this A. state column. So I'm going to see what the first state listed is in reverse alphabetical order. Wisconsin C2. Oh, there's a shocker. It's Wisconsin. Washington C3. Really? Only one city from the state of Wisconsin is on here. I bet it's Milwaukee. Wisconsin C2. So, well, only one way to find out. I'm going to use my left arrow to arrow to which city that is. Milwaukee link B2. And we have a winner. So, Milwaukee. And I can find out all the information that I want about Milwaukee by going across um, and remembering uh, that I'm uh, that I'm looking at uh, land, um, square square miles or square kilometers, uh, water square kilometers, uh, total you know square miles and kilometers, and then population. And as long as I remember that, I'm I'm okay. Um, of course, uh, another thing we can do. So I'm curious whether Chicago is listed on here. I don't know why I'm curious. I just am. So. Um, of course, another way I can look within an Excel sheet other than sorting for the things in the middle, like Chicago, the city name will be, you know, not all the way at the top. In Illinois, the state name will, will, will be like almost smack in the middle, I'm guessing. So I don't want to arrow through all that to find Chicago, Illinois. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a find, I'm going to do a, 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 com, a command, <laughs> control F. Find the... Chicago. Chicago. Okay, enter. Edit Chicago. And then it took me there, and I know it did because it didn't give me the ding that it wasn't found. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to escape out of the dialog box, then escape. Microsoft Excel and I, one. I'm guessing Sheet that it's tape. focused in the cell that has Chicago listed. So I'm um, I'm going to move to the left. Thirty-three and ninety-three. Oh, a ninety-three. So apparently Chicago is like ranked thirty-third. Chicago ninety-three. Illinois C93. Oh, good. It's in Illinois. 227.1 D93. Okay. That, that's the land in square miles. I'm going to skip over. 6.9 F93. Square kilometers in, or square miles in water. 234 H93. Total square miles. 2,695,598 right. J93. Right. And that's the population. So that, of course, could be used to, as I said before, um, in possibly uh, if you're using Excel to uh, like an address list or a fun, you know a group list, you can use that and to track uh, that same thing. And of course, you can export that 
uh, mail into a mail merge and create labels that way. So <clears throat> that's one way of, of arranging it and doing it. So um, anyway, I'm going to just end it here. So we'll leave it at filtering and sorting. So um, again, if you have questions, my contact information is, as always, at the end of this video. So uh, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.